Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. It's Mary Jane. So let's talk about Childish Gambino. His new video was released, um, and the name of the song is This Is America, Childish Gambino. Let me tell you, the video is just awesome. I just like the music. I like the rhythm. I like the beats. It almost seems like they have drumming going on, too, as well. That is actually, like... Um, from like the islands or music that you know that used to be played like the beats and 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 like the sound of the drumming and and the instruments that they use almost sounds like it was like homemade instruments that people used to use back in the day like outside you know around each other and then add it with 2018 beats and it, it just sound it was amazing the music really sound good it had like a foreign ancestral ancestor type of rhythm me beat to go with it really sound good like it was like hymns like old school hymns with just like the beats of the drumming of like sticks rattling um tapping drumming just making noise from pure nature and then on top of that add the beats it just sounds so good the video was am amazing welcome to america you know whatever childish gambino does is always good you know, and I think he's the true genius. Everybody's talking about Kanye West, but Childish Gambino has done so much that it's just so amazing. His talent is just ridiculous. His acting skills, his music, his writing, his producing, everything is just... And just his production, he put together his th his thoughts. It's just amazing. And I love the video. The video is like, welcome to America. This is how America is. You know, we got cars, we're showing this and that off. But you know what happens? We see a lot of killing. We see a lot of murder. There's a lot of guns. There's guns here. There's guns there. People losing their life right before your very eyes. And then the kids are seeing this. The kids see, you know, Childish Gambino, you know, shoot the guy in the chair. And then the kids come and clean up the mess because it's generational curse that are passing down that the kids are seeing that the kids are watching they're watching the murder they're watching the killing they're watching people you know party and they're partying too as well um, as as moms as like little kids having a good time and trying to enjoy themselves but then they see the real world they see the cops they see the violence they see the militias that's in the background running and chasing each other yelling out of cars almost looking like they're doing drive-by shooting too as well you got kids just hanging you know looking at their phones because they're so addicted to media they're so addicted to what's going on online or what's happening online but at the same time you're trying to have fun you're trying to have a good time you see the cops then also you see like so many different vehicles from each like each vehicle to me represented like a century or a generation at one point in time that's not here anymore it was mostly a lot of old school cars in the video too as well and then actually you know when he goes to the church and you know they're singing they're worshiping god you know the freedom of religion that you do have here but somebody can come right into your sanctity can come right into your church can come right into your place of worship and shoot it up and kill and, and kill you and you know there's nothing done about it or it's just why is this happening so black man get your money and you know when he says black man get your money is he saying what that's what everyone tells black man get your money get your money it's almost like you know um childish gambino is telling black man get your money get your money but is he saying that too as well to black men because in one of the lyrics he says that um my grandmother my grandmother told me to get my money to get your money black man Oh, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like it's been told in the past to get your money and get your money now. Is is everything just about money? Like it's not about freedom. It's not about safety. It's not about love. It's, it's not about anything else but get your money or get your money as far as leave everything that's going on in your neighborhood and in your background, things that are happening that are dramatizing, things that can actually cause you to have PTSD. No matter what, just keep getting your money. Just focus on getting your money. And, it, you know, in the songs like, oh, you want to party? You want to have a good time? You just want to have fun? Well, wait, okay, you can party and have a good time, but watch what happens. This is what's happening. You have a cookout, somebody shoots up the cookout. You go to the movies, somebody shoot up the movies. You go to school, try to get an education, they shoot up the school because you have the kids that are dancing around in their uniforms, representing school and also school violence too as well that has been passed on from gener every generation and you know you you hear like oh the columbine high then this shooting and then the girl that says i hate mondays the reason why she shot up her school in california is because she hate mondays and you know and she went to school with a gun so it's like every different generation every time and, and 
every point in time in America's history, there's always been some type of violence with gunfire, people getting killed. You know, the cops not, um, some, most of the cops not doing their job and they be tripping and they be wilding. This is America. Don't catch me slipping up. Don't catch me slipping up because if you're having a good time and then you're enjoying yourself before you look around, before you turn around, there's something violent could be going on. There's some type of shooting. There's some type of, you know, dangerous situation that you could be at. You, you can be a part of if you're just, if you're just trying to have a good time and basically don't catch me slipping you can't and the and then he also says the police be tripping now um look at how i'm living now look at how my living now that i'm living good or look how i'm living now in america with all this craziness going on so i the the, the dancing in the video was excellent childish gambino dancing his attire what he wore everything was great from his hair to his beard to having the people in the background just running you had like construction workers regular workers militias you just had so many different people all involved you even had the horse you know like i guess back in the old days and also in rome and things i mean like in the old days when people use horses as transportation so it's like every generation has some form of transportation or some form of something that happened that had to do with violence that that really just kept passing down from generation to generation. Don't catch me slipping. Well, don't catch me slipping. And then, um, look at how I'm geeking out. Like people, um, you know, geeking out. I don't know if that, cause geek, maybe, I don't know maybe what he mean by geeking. Out. I don't know if he's talking about drugs. I don't know if he's talking about being high. Um, you know, he talks about, you know, you know, when I'm so fit, I'm wearing Gucci. Like everybody's focusing on getting materialistic things in America, whether it can cost your life getting these things. So I was just like, oh. When he says on oh, my Kodak, is he talking about Kodak Black? Is he talking about So it was just like, you know, he got the hummingbirds and um he was talking about contraband, all the drugs in America that people be on, that you can just get over the counter. Um, you got these um, drug companies making billions of dollars. So it was so much going on. And he was also talking about music and got to find the block, you know, got to gotta find the blocker, got to find the gun. Because it's just like you can't be caught without a gun. You can't be caught without slipping. And then the lyrics, it goes, America, I just checked my following list and you... Go tell somebody, your motherfuckers owe me. Grandmother told me, get your money, black man. So I don't know if he means that, you know, um, the 40 acres and a mule, or you just owe us prayer for all the things that, the things that this country has put together to hinder people from growing and succeeding that are indigenous people, that are melanated people. So, um... And, and, and is it just when he says, grandmother told me, get your money, black man, get your money, black man, get your money, black man, get your money, black man. It's like getting your money, like taking what's yours. So I just think the video was interesting. So this is just my, this is just my little tape. I I, I just love the vi the video. But he also says you just a black man in this world. You just a barcode. You know you just you just a barcode. You just a black man in this world. I don't know if the barcode is when you know they're looking us up when you know we're found dead or the police done shot us or we're shot dead in our neighborhood and they scan a barcode. Basically, is everything about barcodes and numbers that you're not really you're not really human. And it says dividing, expensive, and foreign. Um, dividends, expensive, and foreign. Like, people just worship materialistic things. Mm. I just think the video was interesting. I And then if you wanted a crash course on what America was like, what America is like, this was this would do it. This video was a crash course for you. So anyways, peace, I'm out, one love.